What we got? We got new babies! Well, one is a big baby. This week I got two new foster kittens. One of them is just a few days old, and the other is her mom. You heard that right. This mama cat is still a kitten herself. She's only nine months old. The mama is a beautiful gray tabby with a fluffy coat, and sadly she was surrendered to an animal shelter when she was pregnant. On Christmas morning, the shelter staff walked in and found that she had given birth to two kittens, and unfortunately one of them had already passed. So the only survivor is this little white female kitten. Since the little baby was born on Christmas, we decided to give them some Christmassy names. So we named the mama Pine, and we named the kitten Twinkle, like the twinkly lights that decorate trees this time of year. What do you think? Do you think this is a Siamese or a white? It's Siamese. like a white cat. It does, but you never know in the beginning. It's evening. Yeah. Probably Siamese. When Siamese kittens are born, they're white. And then you think you have a white kitten, and all of a sudden, their ears look dirty and their nose looks dirty and you can't quite clean them up and then you realize they're Siamese. This has been a really stressful experience for the mama. She's still a kitten herself. She just lost her home and now she's giving birth in an animal shelter. So she wasn't taking the greatest care of the little baby and the baby needed some supplemental support. Usually I foster orphaned kittens, but this little kitten needs a lot of the same kind of help. One of the first things I need to do is assess what kind of care the kitten needs. Is the mama rolling over to let the baby nurse? When the mom is nursing the baby, is she actually producing enough milk for the kitten to consume? Is she licking the baby and helping her go to the bathroom or does the baby need that kind of help too? She's a good mom, like she's concerned for sure. Anytime you're fostering a mom and babies, you want to be asking these questions because you want to make sure the baby really is growing. Hey! Hello? This is our new baby! Mama is having some difficulty feeding the baby, so she's here for some supplemental feeding. And I need to weigh her so that I actually know how much she's eating. Got good pipes. We like to hear that, nice and healthy. So an important thing is getting that baseline weight and then weighing the kitten every few hours to make sure that she really is improving. So she was 180. And now she's 178. She's doing okay, but you want to see her going up in weight, not going down in weight. I do, and I'd like to see her gain some weight here. get some calories there, girlfriend. In the beginning, it was clear Mama Pine was pretty stressed out. She needed a lot of encouragement to actually lay with the baby and nurse her. So what really helped her is actually sitting with her and petting her while she's nursing to just soothe her and encourage her to stay put. Now the most important thing when you're taking care of a mom and baby is that the mom is comfortable and happy because mom is the one who really needs to be able to do the work. So I gave her a bunch of different options, but she wasn't quite crazy about my initial setup. So this is Pine and Twinkle's setup. They've got a really cozy playpen with a nice bed, all of these different options of places that she could bring her baby. But the place that she wants to be is under this table. She keeps bringing the baby under there. I bring the baby back to the playpen, and next time I come in, she's brought the baby underneath the table. This is a pretty normal part of taking care of a mom and baby. You really can't tell the mom where to put the baby. She's gonna put the baby wherever she wants. So all you can really do is create a couple different options for her and respond to what she seems to want. So I put a pad, but she doesn't want the pad. She wants to be on the wood with her baby. <laughs> Which is, I guess, fine while you're there, but then the baby's just sitting on wood. Mama, when you're not there, your baby's just sitting on cold 
floor. Look, I even put a pad there for you. You keep putting your baby on the wood. I know that seems like a safe place to you, but that's not comfy. You have so many other options. All right, let's let's fix this situation, okay? I'll set you up something else in the corner where you can feel covered and secure without dragging your baby underneath the table over and over, okay? Okay. to be in that corner in a covered space that feels like a little bit of a cave. So this setup has worked much better. She's not moving the baby around anymore and she's really staying put and nursing the baby. And the exciting thing is the baby is gaining weight now. Another part of keeping mom comfortable is making sure that she's groomed. When she arrived, she was matted, she was dirty, she didn't smell the best, so we worked on grooming her. Ooh, oh, mama spa day, mm. that's so nice. Wow. You're not gonna be stinky no more. Good job, mama. It's always a good thing to help mama feel better, but you should know that if you change the way a mama smells, it will impact the baby. This little baby's only a few days old. She can't see and she can't hear, but she can smell. And when mama cat came back to the nest smelling nice and fresh, she reacted with a hiss. Your baby's hissing at you. I'm sorry, we made you smell different. Fortunately, we didn't change anything about the way her tummy smelled. We made sure that we only washed her with water on her tummy. And so the baby was still able to find her food source and nurse. I always fall in love with the mama cats. There's just something so sweet about watching how much they care for their babies. And Pine is definitely a good example of that. She's battling a nasty upper respiratory infection where she's sneezing and has all this eye discharge. And even in the midst of all this stress and the moving and illness and being a baby herself, she still is taking such good care of her baby. So I'm doing everything I can to get her feeling comfortable and healthy and happy. She's being treated with medicine that's safe for a nursing mom and we hope to see her doing better soon. And of course she has me every single step of the way. Fostering a mom and baby is a really great way that anyone can make a difference. And it's something I really recommend if you're new to fostering. You kind of act as a co-parent. You know, I'm overseeing, I'm monitoring, I'm weighing, I'm making sure everything goes okay, and I can intervene if something goes wrong, but mostly I'm just here in a supportive role, making sure mom is fed and comfy. Good job, Mama. So welcome, Pine, and welcome, Twinkle. I can't wait to watch both of you grow and thrive.